Hey there, everybody. The date is 1 224. If you deal in contracts and money, it would be uh, 628 2024. This video may or may not work out. I don't know. Um, somebody asked me to expound on yesterday's video. Somebody else said that they didn't really understand it. The one with the uh, Harvard Law professor. So I want to explain that a little bit, expound on that a little bit. And uh, I've jotted down some notes. I may or may not use them. I don't know. We'll see. What the professor was explaining was the difference between what you think of when you think of AI and when people talk about the dangers of AI and the realities of AI. The reality he's talking about is the reality that AI isn't just digital, that corporations themselves are a form of AI that have taken over humanity. He calls it analog AI, and he uses a lot of words and explanations that, you know, interfere with the simplicity of the message, I think, for us regular people who aren't law professors. But his point was well taken, by me anyway, because I agree. Corporations themselves are a form of AI. There's something that humans have engineered or created to be able to do a function in the world for a certain purpose. And that's what corporations did. They eased liability for individuals. I want to take what the professor said even further and say money itself is an AI that not only captured humanity, but From, from its perspective, it thinks it created humanity. It doesn't know another reality, another world, another time. According to the professor, he's saying, he starts with democracy and says that's a form of AI that was created by human beings to serve a function, the greater good. But democracy ended up controlling the people instead. And he says, then corporations were created. And people thought democracies would control the corporations, but they didn't. Corporations ended up controlling democracy through money and democracy the people. An example is, of that is our Constitution. The, the first article in the U.S. Constitution gives Congress just all kinds of authority. So the control system exploited that authority and took it over and says it's acting constitutionally. It outsmarted humanity. Yes, humanity is smarter than these um, institutions that humanity creates, humanity is way smarter. But these institutions have taken over, taken control by exploiting human weaknesses, our insatiable desires for this, that, and the other thing. And so, you know, later in the video, which I didn't show, he talks about the AI on top of corporations, people thinking the corporations are going to control the AI when in actuality, AI controls the corporations, the corporations control the democracy, and democracy controls the people. And the people let it. Why? Because it all satisfies a weakness we have, an insatiable desire we have for engagement. or sugar, or alcohol, or love, or sex, or power, or prestige. You could stick anything in there, whatever weakness you want. I want you to grasp that concept because it's abundantly true. And if you heard the quivering in his voice as he spoke, you might appreciate the very last clip that 
it didn't, and you know, his original video, which I hope you went and listened to on YouTube, is about twice what you heard. But I ended, and I didn't let the audio play with a clip that showed something that AI inserted into social media. Not a person, not an individual, not a living being, but AI inserted something. And I didn't want to say what it was because I didn't want to get uh, my video shadow banned. He could get away with it because he's doing a TED Talk and TED Talks are usually pretty approvable. You know, they're vetted as speaking acceptably according to uh, the establishment. But what he's saying is that humanity has lost control simply because we're not paying attention. You know, the AIs, the various institutions we've created, the various technologies we've created control us to our detriment. And that's what I want to emphasize. And what's interesting is politics, I would put not just democracy, but politics, another AI, analog AI, that controls us. When our issues, our problems, the problems in the world can best be solved by us and our neighbors. Instead, we're participating in these huge mass elections to elect people whose actions really have very little to do with the problems that hit home for us. And here I'm talking about economics. People invariably act like they think that the president is going to influence the economy. When it's the people who influence the economy, and you may be saying, yeah, but the president's influence the people. If you say that, then you make my point exactly, which was exactly the professor's point. We're letting politics, democracy, corporations, money control us. There is no way a great, big, overarching, centralized government is going to feed your family when you don't have resources for food. And that's the po whole point of the videos that I'm making now. It is time for us to become a nation, a universe-wide nation of people who are scattered all across the world, who are able to to live independently and maybe we don't have to all the time and maybe we're not allowed to all the time because of the way society is set up but we need to practice selective independence food independence learn what things that grow in your yard are edible you know a lot of you have have said that you live in areas where they're discouraging gardening well okay fine don't garden then Learn to forage. Establish a proper relationship with the land. Produce something. Don't just sit at it. Produce something from it. And the first things that need to be produced from it are things that supply our sustenance, our life. Food, clothing, shelter. Boom. We need to be food, clothing, shelter independent in ways that don't create... Uh, it create a targeting situation for us by the establishment, see? Function in a wise way. Don't go around bragging about how oh, I'm living off the grid, blue, blue, blue. Yeah, we, okay, so you're on the grid, but you don't have to use it. You can practice selective independence. One day on, one day off. One day eat from foraged food, one day eat from your garden, and then the next day, you you know, you might be able to find something in, gro in the grocery store that's not going to poison you. I don't know. Some grocery stores are carrying organic stuff. Some aren't. I'd stay in the produce section if I were you, if you're going to grocery stores. But anyway, I hope that helped. I don't want to make this video too long. But I wanted to uh, expound on yesterday's video regarding what the Harvard law professor said. The quivering in, your, in his voice should have told you how important his message is. That's all for now. I'll see you next time.